I've been going out with this guy for four years, right? Yes. And then I'm 25 years old, and just in the last two weeks, he's decided that was it. My mom says it's because he's Hispanic, and he hasn't accomplished what he needs to do. Oh, jeez. We went to a club, right? And I brought my girlfriends with us, yeah. and he brought his boys or whatever he wants to call them. It's comments like those that don't put yeah. you in the good graces of men. No. Your boys, whatever you want to call them. They're losers, though. <laughs> okay, so he meant listen. Are you always this demanding? Do you always have to preface everything you know by saying, what? listen? No, I'm usually not this demanding, but I've listened to other people calling to your show, and if they're not demanding, they really don't get anywhere. You're the kind of girlfriend. I'm surprised he made it four years because after a week, a man would walk up to a brick wall and just start pounding his head against it. Why am I with this freaking woman who doesn't shut up? That's so not true. Why would he even call me? How often would you have sex with him? Too often. What In your it? heart of hearts, did you really think he was as smart as you? Honestly, he's not. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, not. Can I tell you something? What? You bug me so much right now that oh I'm going to break God. up with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> A shocking and experimental medical procedure oh. as doctors attempt to replace Gaius's diseased penis oh, with his own middle finger. I, what the hell am I listening to here? He chose to have the middle finger put there. Yeah, you could be like a Ken doll or you can have Ken the doll? finger there. I'm choosing neither of those options. The option is die or have your penis removed. It's time for me to go. That's the obvious statement being made by the higher powers to me. Not living the rest of my life flashing the bird at people in strange ways. <laughs> <laughs> Put my finger. Right. <laughs> Does the nail still grow? I'm not wow. sure, man. I hope not. Do you have your penis manicured? <laughs> <laughs> Screw me. Well, the best I can do is finger you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ten Eastside teenagers are accused of stealing big bucks for an outrageous spending spree. Right. Police say the teens spent thousands at stores buying CDs, clothes, and just about anything they could get their hands on. Yeah. So how was it all bankrolled? Mm-hmm. Police say a 15-year-old boy led friends to his parents' hidden stash of cash. Right. $135,000 in cash. All the cash in the house is gone. Mm-hmm. I knew where my parents kept their stash, too. It was in my mom's little eyeglass case, <laughs> and there was never more than $70 to $90 in there. The teens allegedly spent thousands at this Bellevue limo business, taking several rides and leaving $1,000 tips. Right! Nice. Generous. And the parents, of course, will ground them severely. Oh, no Cancun, Mexico for you for spring break this year, buddy boy. You're going to have to deal with Palm Springs. Yeah. You're grounded for a month. You're going to have to drive the Honda. No BMW for you. You're in big trouble. Right. You'll see what it's like driving the Accord. The hot tub in your room coming out. Right! In the city of public school for one week. Dad, no! I didn't mean it! I didn't know what I was doing! <laughs> Meet Britney Spears' first boyfriend. Oh, no. Before there was Justin Timberlake of NSYNC fame, there was, there was Reg Jones. Reg Jones! <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I can't believe. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> You sound like Redneck J.D. already? Yeah. You want to know about me and Brantley? The ride. I just enjoyed the ride. Ba, 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 ba. The joy of Brittany. Because I was the captain of the football team and the captain of the basketball team. And now I'm a plumber. <laughs> this field over here is uh, where I taught Brittany how to fly her first kite. You never forget your first. <laughs> She's flying kites with Justin Timberlake. Just not the same. Yeah. And she understood me when I said to her, hey, bitch, go fly a kite. <laughs> I think she's over the flying kite stage, yeah, dude. Hunched. All right? <laughs> Come on, she's on the road, she's pretty... not doing that in Chicago. I don't Chicago and... think she's headed outside <laughs> flying kites anymore. Her well, people do that for her. Hey, right. could you go fly a kite for I, I would like it a little higher, please. <laughs> I'm not really enjoying the afternoon enough. In this particular region of modern China, the young men and women have a traditional way for overcoming shyness. What's going on? In China, this is how they meet people. Mm -hmm. They sing to each other instead of sitting down and chatting like they would on a date. Instead of having the small talk that might be uncomfortable on a blind date, they just sit, face each other in big groups and sing out loud what they would say if they were having that small talk. That is correct. I think I understand. Uh, Oh, Oh, boy. I am a Scorpio, I live alone, I have six cats, I love water sports. <laughs> oh, now it's the men's turn to respond. <laughs> we have big schlongs. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. <laughs> and the reply might be about property. The number of tractors in their village, for instance. Oh, boy. Terry, how many tractors have you had in your village there? <laughs> 
Men don't keep journals. Men do keep journals. It requires too much patience. Obviously, this has struck a chord with you. Why? Is there someone close to you that keeps a journal or a diary? Oh, my husband. Ah, <laughs> yes. How <laughs> old is your husband? 41. And how long has he been keeping a journal? Since he was 14. Mm -hmm. oh, he has man. levels of sensitivity that go way beyond what is normal. Exactly. Oh, I can't wait to get to the journal tonight. This was a doozy. <laughs> you sit by a tree in a nice shady spot Drink with a little up. glass of iced tea and a swizzle stick. <laughs> Dear diary, today was a trying one, but I, I made know. it through. Men no, don't do that. They don't do that. Well, In no. other words, if I may paraphrase, yeah. you're married to a tool. <laughs> if you've written one journal entry and you have a penis, you are a tool. Oh, no. A tool. Hey.